Hey everybody, so today we're going to talk about chapter 11, which is properties of solutions. And we're just going to do the first section, which is about solution composition. So looking at how, you know, th what things in a solution are made up of. And this should be partly review. Uh, there are four main ways to define solution composition, and then one more that we're going to talk about that's new. So you have molarity, mass percent, mole fraction, and molality. And molality might be reviewed, but the rest should be familiar to you. And then the new one that we're going to talk about is normality. Okay, let's go over a little bit of solution vocab first. The solute is the part of the solution that gets dissolved. So if you were making uh, Kool-Aid, the Kool-Aid sugar powder stuff is what you're going to add that gets dissolved. And then the solvent is the part of the solution that does the dissolving. So in that case, that would be water. So water is known as the universal solvent because it does a lot of dissolving, partially based on the fact that it's polar and its structure and things like that. And so one easy way to remember this is that the uh, W, if you look at the alphabet, the W for water is closer to the V uh, for solvent. So water is a solvent, and we know water does dissolving, so solvents must dissolve. And then the U is further away, so that's got to be the other part which is the part that gets dissolved. So that's how I remember it. If you have another better way, that's awesome. We're going to talk about these four main types using an example. So we have a solution of ethanol, one gram, and we're preparing the solution by mixing it with 100 grams of water, and then we get a final volume of 101 milliliters. And we want to calculate our molarity, mass percent, mole fraction, and molality in this solution. Okay. So let's look at molarity first. Molarity we should be very familiar with. Okay, so molarity, I don't want red. Okay, so molarity is moles of solute per liter of solution. Well, we know that we have one gram of our ethanol. And so let's convert that to moles. Okay, well, we know that in order to convert to moles, we need the molar mass. So in one mole, I'm not going to go over molar mass because I'm assuming we all know how to do that already. Take two carbon plus six hydrogen plus oxygen, and we're going to get approximately 46.07 grams of C2H5OH. Now, let's pull our calculator over. So let's take our... Turn it on. Okay, so we've got one gram divided by our 46.07 molar mass, and so we get, come on, there we go, 0.0217 moles of ethanol. So that's our top part. So that's this. So now we need our liters of solution. Well, we know that in the problem it told us that we had 101 milliliters of solution. And so since we know that there are 1,000 milliliters in one liter, we can just move our decimal back three spots. So 1, 2, 3 gives us 0 0.101 liters of solution. So now to find the molarity, we're going to take our moles, which is 0 0.0217 divided by our liters, which is 0 0.101. And so we get that divided by our 0 0.101. And so we get 0 0.21491. Well, we've got mainly three significant figures, so we're going to go there. So 0 0.215 molarity. Okay, so molarity is moles per liter. Let's look at the next one, which is mass percent. Well, mass percent, or otherwise known as weight percent, uh, is the percent by mass of solute in the overall solution. Okay, so we want mass of ethanol divided by mass of solution. So our mass of ethanol, we know we started with one gram. And we know that our overall solution was ethanol and water. So we have one gram of ethanol 
and 100 grams of water. So we're going to add those together for the bottom part. And so this is the same as 1 over 101, because we just add 1 plus 100. So let's turn your calculator back over. 1 divided by 101. So we get 0 0.0099. So let's get a pen. Okay, so because it's a percent, we also want to multiply this by 100. And so we can move the decimal two spots. 1, 2 would give us 0. Ooh, not 0, 0.0, 0 0.99, and because we have three significant figures, let's add another 0% ethanol. Ooh, that's super tiny. So not a whole lot of ethanol within the overall solution. So mass percent, you've got mass of your solute divided by your total. Let's look at the third one, which is mole fraction. Okay, well, mole fraction is the number of moles of the component divided by your total. Okay, well, in this case, our component is the ethanol. So let's get our pen. So we know we have 0 0.217, 0 0.02. Okay, so our moles that are going to go on top were 0 0.0217 moles of ethanol. And we want the total moles. Well, we know part of that is going to be our ethanol, but the other part is going to be water. We know we started with 100 grams. And we don't know moles yet, so we're going to need to find them. No, they're straight longer. So we know that in one mole of water, we have approximately 18 grams. That's just the molar mass of water. So now let's get our calculator back over here. Take our 100 grams divided by the 18 molar mass, and that gives us 5.55, or if we were, um, let's go 5.556, just to give a few decimals. So that's moles of water. So now, go back up here, our total then is going to be the moles of ethanol plus the moles of water, because that's our total. So let's take our 0 0.0217 moles of ethanol divided by our total. That's 5.556. Let's get our pen back. Okay, so that gives us 0 0.00389. Uh, we want three significant figures. This zero isn't going to do anything. Moles, we've got moles on the bottom as well. We'll cancel. And so mole fraction does not have any units. So, or, you know, there are the mole fraction of moles of ethanol and moles totals from 0 0.00389. Okay, the last one we're going to look at is molality. Now, this one may be a little new. Uh, it's a small m instead of the big one for molarity, so they are a little easy to get confused. We've got moles of solute over kilograms of solution. So, our moles of solute, we know we had 0 0.0217 moles of ethanol. And we want kilograms of solvent. Now, here's the difference, because usually we've been talking about solution. Solvent, in this case, is just the water. We know we had 100 grams of water. If we want to go to kilograms, we're going to move it back three spots. One, two, three. And so that gives us 0 0.100 kilograms of water. So let's take our 0 0.0217 moles of ethanol divided by our 0 0.1 kilograms of water. And we get 217. So we've got 0 0.21, and we want three significant figures. So this is moles of C2H5OH per kilogram of water. So kind of weird units. In or you could do a small m also. Okay, so we also have 0 0.217 molarity of C2H5OH. Molarity, sorry, see? I'm really easy to get confused. Okay, so let's talk about the last one, which is a little different, which is normality. Okay, now normal, normality is a capital N, and it's the number of equivalents per liter of solution. Well, equivalent depends on the reaction. So if we're talking about an acid-base reaction, we're talking about 
how we want equivalent amounts of acid and base to react. So it's the mass of acid or base that can either furnish or accept one mole of protons, because acids will donate and bases will accept H pluses. So let's look at an example of H2SO4. My pen. No, no, no. All right, I guess I'm going to stay there. Here we go. Okay, so for every one unit of H2SO4, we have two hydrogens. And so what that means, if we look at the molar mass of H2SO4, which is 98, we're going to divide that by two because we've got the two hydrogens being donated for the SO2. So if we look at the equivalent mass, it's 98 over 2, which is what, 49? Where did my thing go? There it is. All right, so 49, this is called the equivalent mass. Now, if we want to relate this to molarity, for every one molarity, remember that's moles per liter, because of the two hydrogens, that's two normality. And let's look at a different example. Let's look at something like HCl. Well, in HCl, we have one hydrogen for every one unit. And so HCl is what, chlorine 35.45 plus another one, so approximately 36 and a half. Well, because it's one hydrogen per one unit, our equivalent mass is 36.5. Okay, and for every one molarity of HCl, because it's one hydrogen to one total, it's one normality. Okay, so that's what you're going to look at when you look at acid base. The other type is oxidation reduction. Instead of looking at hydrogens, we're looking at electrons that get furnished. Okay, so we're going to base this on the half reaction. So let's look at an example. So here we've got permanganate ion, five electrons, and eight H pluses to produce EMN2 plus and four waters. So the permanganate absorbs five electrons, and this comes from the potassium permanganate, to produce, because remember, we're only looking at one side of the half reaction, to produce the manganate, permanganate ion, or manganese ion, sorry. Okay, so what that means is that instead of having like two hydrogens per acid, like H2SO4, for every one KMNO4, we've got five electrons. So KMNO4's molar mass is about 158. And we're going to divide it by 5 because of our 5 electrons. And so that gives an equivalent mass of about 31.6. Okay, so same idea as with the hydrogens, and then we're looking at the electrons from the half reaction. Okay, we will go over another example in class, especially involving normality. And then we'll get started on, whoops, page 520. And these four problems just kind of review the five different types of solution concentrations. So we'll see you guys later.